Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland from Graphic in Motion. In this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my Fluid Colors logo reveal template. This template is really easy to customize, you just have to put in your logo, add some music and you can already render it out. But of course we have some in-depth possibilities, so you can change all these colors and you can change these forms and I created a special style setup for this changes here and I will also show you how to use this. So let's get started by adding a logo. And therefore I just go to File and Import File and I will move to my folder. And for this example I will just use the Envato logo. So let's open up the logo folder. It should be already open in your timeline, otherwise you will find it in the project area. And now you can just drag and drop your logo on top of my placeholder and now you can scale and align it. Uh, one hint here, when we go to our render composition now, you will see that whatever I put in in my logo composition will be exactly displayed in the end, in the end of the animation. So all the scales and positions are taken over one by one, so you can really control uh, how the logo, how big the logo is in the end after the reveal and where it's positioned and stuff. So for now I will just scale it down a little bit because it's a little bit too big. So let's say like this. I will move it up a little bit and I will now just disable or delete my placeholder. Let's just disable it for now and move it to the bottom here. And now I also want to add a tagline. So let's just move this down here and let's say I want to just type in here envato.com and let's say we want to color this font uh, the same as the Envato here. Just move it down a little bit more and I can change of course font. You can use whatever font you want and let's say I am happy with this. Or let's scale it up a little bit more like this and maybe even change the font now to something basic like Arial and let's say this is exactly what we want. So we can go to our render composition and choose a frame in the end here and see our outcome here. Okay and now I can go to my or can scroll through my timeline and you will see how the new logo affects the reveal. Because you see that now we have some new shapes here that are created by the logo itself. So the logo that you enter will have an influence on how these shapes will build up. So let's render a few more frames here. I'm on full resolution, so I could probably just go to half. So it's a little bit quicker. And now you see our Envato logo is revealing. Okay, so this is it, you know, now you can add some music and render it out as it is. So let's do that, add some music, again go to import, import file, and I will move to my music files. And I will just drag my music file into my render composition. You don't have to do anything here, just drag it in. And now you can render out the render composition and you are done with the customization. But of course you can do some more changes here. So let's take a look at this. What if you want to change the colors of all these layers? Therefore you just have to go to our style setup composition and you see that this is basically the animation composition where you can find all the layers and all the cameras and stuff. And on the top of this composition we have a style setup layer. And in the effect controls panel you can see that we have color controls for each of these layers. And we also have color controls for the background layers. So let's take a look at them quickly. Let's say you want to change the colors here and you want to match it, uh, whatever, your logo, your corporate identity, or you want to create a completely different look. So it's really easy to do. So let's say we want to do, I will just make for an example, a black and white uh, composition here. So let's go in here and just fill these colors with different different gray and light or dark values here. Just very quickly, I'm just demonstrating here. I don't know 
how whether this is going to look cool or horrible. It's just an example or experiment now. So let's see what this does to our look. Actually, it looks quite interesting, you know. So you see now we have only the colors that I put in here. And now we create a completely different and new look. And our logo will reveal in this very little bit of strange look. And you see, here we go. Okay, but let's get back to our nice colored version. I just undo these changes here. And I will show you some more features here. So you see that in the beginning we have a dark background and the color of these backgrounds are controlled by these two or by these by these two controls, the BG1 start and the BG1 end, because it's a ramp, you know, and the start color is in the middle and the end color is displayed on the outside here. And the same applies for our BG2, so the background number two, which is displayed in the end. So for example, if you have a very light logo. Let's do this quickly. I will just take this logo and I will just add an invert, an invert. Yeah, let's invert this and let's change the text color also to white. And now we go to our render composition and you see now we have, we have not a very nice contrast between the font and the background. So we can change this, of course. So let's go to our style setup comp and let's change the BG2 to the same value as the BG1. So I just take my start color here and color pick the start color from my BG1 and I do the same with the end color. And now you see we have a nice contrast. And now you can also see when you scroll through the animation. Okay, I have to scroll a little bit more back here. That during the whole animation, the background is dark now. So instead of having this white background building up with our shapes now, the dark background builds up with our shapes. And of course you can colorize these backgrounds. You can change the first background to white also. I will show you this quickly. So let's just undo these changes. Let's go back to our logo and remove the invert effect. And let's recolorize our text here. And now let's go to our style setup again. And let's say we want to have a light background through the whole animation. So I just will take over this time the other way around. I will take over the colors from BG2 and apply them to BG1. So let's take the start color here and color pick these. And now you see we have more or less the same look the whole animation through. And you see that now we have this light and colorful look. Okay, so this is a color correction or applying colors to the different layers. And now you can also change the shapes of these layers. And this is pretty cool because you can create more or less an, an infinite uh, count of variations here uh, with, and this just by changing two values. So let's just undo the last color changes because I like these, these dark and colorful contrast here with the white background building up. And now I will show you what I mean by change the shapes. You know, you see that in our setup, style setup uh, controls, we have two shape seats or one shape seat and one logo reveal seat. And this is just a slider value. And if I enter something else here, let's enter to uh, 320, you will see immediately the whole shape here changes. And you can do this really from one to, I do not even know how many, let's put in 9999. So you see that there is, uh, yeah, uh, more or less an, an infinite way of possibilities here to create the different shapes and different kinds of, of, of more or less uh, colored landscapes that reveal uh, your logo. So you can really uh, search something that you like or that, that really uh, works nicely with your, with your logo reveal. And the same 
you can do with this shape here. You know, the logo is revealed, that the final color of the logo, the original color of the logo is revealed by a certain shape. And you also have a seed value here. And if you change this, then this, this shapes will change also. So this is not so significant here because you know the Envato logo has also has a thin logo with, with all, only uh, smaller layers filled layers but if you have for example a square or something then this can really be quite handy to change the shapes here but let's go back to our standard values and yeah this is it you know i hope that you like the template and that you create some really nice colorful animations with it have fun and i really hope to see you soon thank you very much and goodbye